Good evening, everyone. We are going to, or I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to upload your PowerPoint into Google Docs through Ramapo so that you can send your PowerPoint back and forth. That will prevent us from having to use a USB drive but still give you the ability to um, bring your PowerPoint with you to class as well as upload it and then download it at home as well. Now here on my desktop I have my PowerPoint. That's just the location that I've saved it for this particular um, sample. You should probably save your PowerPoint for your midterm either on your thumb drive or on uh, your uh, hard drive in my documents and preferably both. That way you have an archive of it should something disastrous go, uh, go on. Now I've saved it, I've closed it. Always best practice before you try to send a file or move a file, always close it. And I'm going to jump out here to the internet, which I already have loaded. And I've gone to ramapo.edu and I'm going to click on webmail. If you haven't already seen this, Ramapo student accounts, seriously, student accounts are also connected to uh, Ramapo's uh, Gmail, which is very convenient because um, you can use this Gmail account right here to upload um, documents back and forth. So instead of logging in here through your Ramapo email account up here, log in down here. Now everything that you send back and forth in Ramapo can be accessed through this Gmail account, so don't worry that you would lose anything. And here I'm going to type in my username and password, and um, I'm going to go ahead and click on login. Once I do that, what I default to is my general email area. This is where I should be able to see the email and I should be able to send from here as well. To my knowledge, that's what Ramapo has enabled for students. Not necessarily for faculty, so you're not seeing any of my email here, but for students that should be fine. Um, to get started, I'm going to come up here and click on Documents because that's where I want to upload pieces to. If you haven't checked this out, you might see a little welcome banner and things like that here. But basically over here on the left hand side, we're going to click on Upload. We, are, we could drag and drop that file here, but I'm going to go ahead and select files for upload. I'm going to choose my desktop and I'm going to slide down to the PowerPoint and click on that and click on open. And now what's going to happen is I can see that the PowerPoint's listed there getting ready to be uploaded. I could always remove it, but even if I upload something that later on I want to remove, I can do that. I could select more files. If I take a look at this, this is pretty important. It says convert documents, etc., to the corresponding Google Docs. What you need to know is that Google Docs has a flavor of a presentation software. They cannot obviously call it PowerPoint, but they do have something very similar. So if I were to upload this with, with this checked, then Google would turn around and turn that document into their own format. Now, there might be some great reasons why we would want to do that. I personally use that all the time. But for this case, because we want to preserve the file in PowerPoint, we really don't want Google to convert it at all. We want it to remain intact. So at this point, I'm also going to con uh, confirm that it's private, meaning that I don't want this shared amongst anybody else. I'm going to click on Start Upload, and there it goes. And the little green check says that it's done. I sometimes find that if it hiccups or if it comes back and says um, that it's not correct, I try it again right away. Sometimes it just gets upset with the size or uh, the number of documents I'm sending up. So if I go back to my Google Docs, here in fact it is. Okay. So now, let's imagine you are at class on Wednesday night. So here's the part two of this. You've logged into Google Docs, you've gone to the Ramapo email, and you've clicked on Gmail for Ramapo, and you've gone over to Google Docs, and here it is, right? What you can do is you can click on it, and then that allows you to kind of look at that, but that really doesn't allow you to edit it, so that's not really the right choice. What you would want to do is come over here to Actions, and you'd want to go ahead and download this. Because we're leaving it in the native PowerPoint version, we really have to download it 
work on it on a computer and then remember to upload it again. So we're going to download this and you don't see it on my desktop but here it is. You can see that on my computer it gave it another little name behind it because it already had the original sitting right here. But indeed this is my downloaded version. I could turn around and open this make all my changes as I want to, save it of course, and then close it. I want to save and close all the time. Then what you would want to do is come back into PowerPoint here and you'd want to upload it again. Now mine had a new name on it so if I were to upload this I would get this little one right behind it. What I suggest you do is that as you've changed this document, edit it at you know, school on a Wednesday night or whatever, give it a slightly new name, um, even to say, you know, 2011-16 uh, version. That way you know that you're actually looking at it. At the end of it all, you're going to end up with probably a few different versions of your PowerPoint midterm sitting here, but it's also kind of a backup just in case something drastically goes wrong. And um, for the moment, that's the way we're going to transfer our documents back and forth via Google. Now the other option of course is that if you wanted to create your document in uh, the Google Docs altogether, if you go under create new presentation, you could work without the download upload constantly here, but then the only thing is is that just before your presentation you are going to want to download it right into the regular PowerPoint so you could do all of the um, the uh, inter, you know animations and and uh, different kinds of, of graphics and things like this. This is a great tool, but it does not have nearly the same functionality as the regular um, piece does. So um, you know, as a really good example, it doesn't have all of the little animation pieces that I've talked to you about. So use this only as a last resort, and please, please, please make sure you know to leave time to go ahead and download this and then apply all those animations and other pieces at a later point before your presentation. So not not recommended for this time out, but very much recommended to upload your con uh, your content all the time. Okay, And that's it for now. Have a uh, good week and stay warm. Bye.